think of Governor Branstad saying he hopes for peace? Well, look, it, it, it is no surprise uh, that the establishment is in full panic mode. Uh, we said from the beginning that the Washington cartel uh, was going to panic more and more. As conservatives unite behind our campaign, you're going to see the Washington cartel fire, firing every shot they can, every cannon they can, because the Washington cartel lives on cronyism. It lives on making deals. It lives on picking winners and losers and is supporting corporate welfare and cronyism. This is what people are so fed up with. It's how we've gotten an $18 trillion national debt. And, and so it's not surprising, and we're going to see even more of that because every day what we're seeing on the ground is the grassroots are making their decision. They're coming together. Conservatives are uniting behind our campaign. And we will see, like the empire strikes back, the, the establishment will strike back because they don't want an end to the cronyism and the gravy train from Washington. Senator, are you saying that Iowa corn farmers are crony capitalists? I'm saying Iowa corn farmers are wonderful Americans, uh, but Iowa corn farmers are not career politicians. Iowa corn farmers are frustrated with career politicians. They're fed up with politicians who make deals every day to grow government, to expand the debt, to do things like fund Planned Parenthood, to do things like support Obamacare, to do things like give in to amnesty. And, you know, I will note, actually, Carl, on your network, uh, Donald Trump just yesterday said that the problem with me is that I wouldn't go to Washington to make a deal and go along and get along with the Democrats. Well, if you're looking for someone who's a deal maker, who will capitulate even more to the Democrats, who will give in to Chuck Schumer and Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi, then Perhaps Donald Trump is your man. I can tell you, Republicans across this country, they don't think the problem is that Republican leadership is not making enough deals. They're fed up with Republican leadership that doesn't stand for anything, that begins every deal with a surrender at the outset. What we need is a principled constitutionalist conservative who is willing to stand up with the American people, with the Constitution, and not go along to get along in Washington. That's how we got in this mess in the first place.